In this video, we'll explore using the YouTube Creator Studio as a space to store and collect teaching videos. You'll have the chance to observe some best practices around setting defaults and the sharing of videos with students. Let's take a look at how this might look in the Teaching and Learning YouTube channel. So on YouTube, you can see that in the top right corner, Teaching and Learning has our own YouTube channel. This is created using our Conestoga College email and a unique but distinct password. Learn more in other videos about how to create a YouTube channel account. In our case, we would step into the YouTube Studio right here in the lower menu. The YouTube Studio is the behind the scenes for anybody who hosts content in YouTube. And you have the choice of this content being publicly, unlisted, or privately viewable. Here in the dashboard area, you have an overview of usage of your videos. We spend the majority of our time here in the videos section of the Creator Studios. This is where we work with videos that we have already posted into our YouTube channel. If we need to upload a new video, we would simply click the Create button to upload videos from our desktop, from a USB, or anywhere else that you might store your videos. Once a video is uploaded here, you can set the visibility. In our case, we choose to set many of our videos as public because we share them broadly. However, for teaching, the best privacy setting might be to use the unlisted setting. Unlisted videos are not searchable within YouTube, but are shareable by a link. A video that's private would only be visible to people who were directly shared the link to their email address. Unlisted makes it easier to share a video by simply using the link. If you were interested in using a public YouTube channel, you would need to make sure that you abide by Conestoga College's social media guidelines. We upload and host videos into here, and once the videos are posted, we can easily edit any details or simply use the ellipses to grab a shareable link to post in courses. Links are copied to your clipboard, meaning that you could control V or right click and paste to add them into a link or a module in your course. Once a video is posted as well, you might need to modify or work with the subtitles of that particular video, which you can find along the left hand side in the subtitles area. Select any video and go ahead and modify the subtitles for that particular video. One thing that might be beneficial is if you're considering using a YouTube account in an unlisted format to be able to share videos with students is you might want to set those settings up by default. In the settings area of the YouTube Creator Studios, you can enter into the upload defaults. You can set the automatic visibility to unlisted and in the advanced settings, you can control things like the licensing, the category, the language, and the commenting availability. Setting the language here will automatically start off the captioning process for you as soon as you upload a video, although it may take 15 to 20 minutes for captions to appear on your video. Disa choosing to disable comments will limit the ways that students can participate in your videos, but it might reduce the volume of moderation requests that you feel you need to, to work with. Once those changes are made, hit save and close the window. Those changes will apply to all new uploads and be found here in your videos area. This is a basic orientation to the YouTube studio. We look forward to seeing where you take it and how you create and share videos with your learners.